30 years ago, Prague was a mystery to travelers in Europe, now, however, it is one of the most popular destinations on the continent, drawing about 4 million visitors each year. Prague offers a compact city center, a fascinating centuries-long history with splendid examples of Romanesque, Gothic, Baroque, Renaissance and Art Nouveau architecture, an overview of the best place to visit in Prague. Connecting Old Town and Lesser Town over the River Vltava is the 600-year-old Charles Bridge, Prague's most iconic landmark. King Charles IV commissioned the bridge in 1357, replacing the Judith Bridge which was destroyed by a flood in 1342. Thirty Baroque statues line the sides of the pedestrian bridge along with myriad vendors' stalls, musicians, performance artists and beggars. A bustling, busy area, the bridge is almost never empty of people, although seeing it at dawn or in the evening will mean fewer crowds. Prague is known for its centuries-long span of architectural styles, with the end of the 20th century exemplified by the deconstructivist building Dancing House, created by Czech architect Valdo Milunek and Canadian Frank Gehry. This remarkable structure contains both dynamic and static elements, and resembles a female dancer swaying in the arms of her male partner, the Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers of the architectural world. Located on the bank of the Vltava River and Rostova Street, Dancing House is a private office building except for a restaurant on the seventh floor, the Celeste, which is open to the public. On the other end of Charles Bridge from Old Town Square lies the Malastrana or Lesser Town District. Baroque architecture is the rule in Malastrana, although its history dates back to 1257 when it was founded as a royal town. The Baroque Street, Nicholas Church and the extensive Wallenstein Palace dominate the area. Towering over Malastrana is Prague Castle, which can be reached by a hike up picturesque near Utova Street. The Old New Synagogue is also the home of Prague's Golem, or so legend has it. In the 16th century, Rabbi Jehud Loa created the Golem from clay and animated it with breath and a parchment bearing instructions placed in its mouth. When the Golem went mad and became aggressive, the rabbi returned it to clay, stating that when hard times for Jewish people came again, the Golem could be reawakened. You can find the Old Town Hall right in the heart of Old Town Prague. You'll know you've found it by the gathering crowds at the base of its Gothic Tower where every hour between 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. the 12 apostles appear on the astronomical clock. The appearance only lasts a moment, but the crowd will roar with applause for the amazing mechanical show. It's made all the more impressive by the fact that this building was first established back in 1338 and served as the seat of the Old Town Administration. Located between Wenceslas Square and the Charles Bridge, Prague's Old Town Square is often bursting with tourists and locals in the summer. Czech's long history is exemplified in the medley of architectural styles, Romanesque, Baroque, Rococo, Gothic and Renaissance are all represented in the superb buildings around the square. Soaring Gothic towers that rise from tin cathedral contrasts with the Baroque style of St. Nicholas while Old Town Hall consists of a collection of Gothic and Renaissance buildings. One of the original gates into Old Town Prague, this tower was first built in the 11th century and rebuilt in the 15th century. During the 17th century, the tower was used for storing gunpowder, which is where it gets its name. The royal route, the coronation route of the Bohemian kings, started at the tower, through Old Town, across the Charles Bridge and up to Prague Castle and Street, Vitus Cathedral where the kings were crowned. Towering above the city is Prague Castle, more of a sprawling complex than a single defensive building. 
The castle building spans centuries and consists of a royal palace, a cathedral and three churches, a basilica, a monastery, defensive towers, royal stables, a tiny lane where craftsmen worked and magnificent gardens. Clog Castle began as a wooden fortress with earthen bulwarks in the 9th century. By the 11th century, it included a royal palace and the 14th century saw the beginning of Street Vitus Cathedral. The Church of Our Lady before it graces the Old Town Square, among the most well-known attractions in Prague. The church's Gothic towers soar 80 meters, 260 feet, into the sky and can be seen from all parts of the city. Like many other Prague churches, the site's original building was an 11th century Romanesque church built for foreign merchants who came to Tin Courtyard for trade. The present church was constructed in the 14th century, although the roof, towers and gables came years later. One of Prague's two main squares, Muntzlis Square is a shopper's paradise and haven. Set off as Prague's horse market by Charles IV in 1348, Muntzlis Square is more of a boulevard than a traditional square. Located in Newtown, the square is home to bars, clubs, restaurants, hotels, shops and banks, making it the city's entertainment, nightlife and commercial district. Much of Czech's 20th century history happened in Wenceslas Square as political movements and gatherings met at the Statue of Street. Wenceslas to parade down the square.